The first meeting of the Million Dollar Roundtable took place during the 1927 National Association of Life Underwriters Annual Meeting in the Peabody Hotel, Memphis, Tennessee. Paul Clark presided over 32 members in attendance. He believed establishing a core group of NALU's best, men who sold at least $1 million worth of life insurance, would allow top producers to exchange ideas, encourage industry leaders to attend meetings, and inspire other producers. Some NALU members were concerned an elite group could be divisive, but Clark trusted it would serve as an incentive for all to produce more, not only for the good of the agents, but the industry and clients as well. In just over two hours, they agreed to establish a permanent association. George Lackey was appointed chairman with the power to select a committee tasked with structuring the organization. Even at the first meeting, the strong tradition of members sharing ideas was established. Some of the 38 ideas shared included, keep quiet when a prospect pauses to think, find a prospect's heartstring, and protect those interests connected with life insurance, such as a child, wife, business, etc., and promise to buy a rural fellow a fine new pair of pants if he'll sign up. Throughout the 1930s, despite the Great Depression, MDRT continued to grow, welcoming its first female member in 1928, as well as members from Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Japan. Heading into the 1940s, the round table would face disruptions from World War II. Two annual meetings were canceled in 1942 and 1945, but MDRT soon grew beyond its founder's vision. The decade saw many important developments in MDRT structure. The first was implementing the five-man executive committee in 1944, keeping the most recent chairman on an additional year to advise the new one. This allowed for a smoother transition and was so popular, the arrangement continues today. The second major change happened in 1946, when MDRT held its meeting in a location physically removed from the NALU meeting for the first time. There, attendees voted to change the roundtable's bylaws to allow the executive committee to pick the time and place of each annual meeting. This move further cemented MDRT as an independent association. By the end of the 1940s, MDRT had grown to 790 members from its original 32. For years, the chairman handled all of MDRT's affairs from his personal office in his home city. This meant that each year, the office of MDRT followed the next chairman to his own locale, necessitating new space and equipment as well as new staff to train. In his acceptance remarks as 1950 chairman, Theodore Whiting announced he would not follow suit, but instead centralize MDRT, establishing it in Chicago. MDRT took over Paul Cook's extra space he had rented during his 1949 MDRT administration. Whiting also retained Harriet Prinitz, who had previously worked part-time for Paul Cook on roundtable affairs. She became MDRT's first paid employee. Located at 1 North LaSalle Street, the office remained there until 1974. The 1950s saw MDRT become a booming association, hiring its first executive director, Q.M. Ward, in 1957. That same year, MDRT filed for and received tax exemption as a 501c6 voluntary business association. For years, MDRT President's companies traditionally passed out gifts to members at each annual meeting. But in 1956, MDRT President Arthur Preby asked that his company, Penn Mutual, give to a charitable cause instead. That act of caring marked the informal start of the MDRT Foundation. Formally chartered in 1959, the foundation has reflected the caring and generosity of MDRT and its members ever since, supporting charitable causes both local and global. At the 1962 annual meeting, the late Mortimer J. Adler encouraged members to nurture the different areas of their lives. He explained that the professional part of our life allows us to live, but the other dimensions allow us to live well. This became the basis for MDRT's whole person philosophy. The idea was as simple as it was revolutionary. 
whole persons are engaged in a lifetime quest to achieve balance in all aspects of their lives. Family, health, education, career, service, financial, and spiritual. And continually seek to develop their full human potential. This single idea has been a cornerstone of MDRT culture since then and an important topic at annual meetings. Many members say it has changed their lives. In the early 1970s, MDRT unveiled a new level of membership for its very top performers. During the executive committee meeting in 1974, MDRT's leadership agreed admission to this tier would be granted to those meeting four times the MDRT qualifying production level. Though Top of the Table was formed in 1974 and announced in 1975, this group of super achievers didn't receive a formal name until MDRT's 50th anniversary in 1977. The first Top of the Table annual meeting was held that same year in Phoenix, Arizona to an audience of 332, 75% of MDRT's then Top of the Table qualifiers. The 1970s saw MDRT's membership hit over 10,000, necessitating a city convention center to hold the annual meeting for the first time, Boston's Heinz Auditorium in 1976. Previously, the annual meeting predominantly took place in a single hotel or several closely situated ones. The practice of hosting the annual meeting in convention centers continues today as the most popular of MDRT events regularly draws between 7,000 and 8,000 attendees. By the middle of the 1980s, a need for an intermediate achievement circle between qualifying MDRT membership and top of the table membership was identified. In 1985, MDRT welcomed its first court of the table members. As the 1980s closed out, MDRT had outgrown its offices in Des Plaines, Illinois, and needed a building of its own. In 1990, MDRT moved to its current location at 325 West Tuohy Avenue in Park Ridge, Illinois. Today, MDRT is a thriving association of over 40,000 members representing 76 nations and territories. MDRT membership connects the best and brightest in the financial services profession. Member benefits include career enhancing education through MDRT's many programs, services, and products. World class forums, including the annual meeting, top of the table annual meeting, and experience meeting for the exchange of life insurance and financial planning ideas. Motivation through an annual membership qualification and a culture in which members encourage one another to achieve their personal best. Personal development through MDRT's many volunteer leadership opportunities. All members have instant access to networking with other successful people, allowing them to share ideas and develop relationships with peers from around the world. In addition to member service, MDRT continues to look outward and serve the community. Since 1959, the MDRT Foundation has awarded more than $28 million in life-changing grants to charitable organizations worldwide. Foundation grants support social service agencies, education and advocacy programs, medical agencies, and many other causes committed to empowering people in need. With its rich history of service and excellence, MDRT is recognized as the premier association of financial professionals. Its members demonstrate the founding principles of exceptional professional knowledge, strict ethical conduct, and outstanding client service. MDRT membership is recognized internationally as the standard of excellence in the life insurance and financial services business.